So it's been a while since I've been on the squirrels. Finally decided that because breeding season has just been and gone, or still going on maybe, that I would top up my feeder after I've installed my new feeder because they destroyed my other one. Stick my trail camera out and see if the squirrels are about. After checking my footage on my SD card for my trail cam, they completely filled my my memory card up. Even nice seeing the Jays as well, the regular visitor. So got myself all nice and ready, all packed up. Heading out to the farm and I'm gonna have a morning on the squirrels. You can see that when I do the squirrel shooting, I do have to carry quite a lot of equipment. Uh, but then again it's I get quite a lot of decent footage, which I know people seem to enjoy. So I enjoy making it, even though it's the most difficult one to make. As I'm coming over this gate, the feeder is around 80 and 90 yards. This is about 5 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just trying to be as quiet as I can, discreet. I'm just going to walk straight up to my feeder, get set up, and then I'm just going to get straight on it. Fully set up now, I'm in my hide. It's been pretty quiet so far, just seeing just seeing a little bit of the wildlife, so we got some pheasants. You have your usual songbirds which arrive as well. And then I have my usual visitor throughout the morning as you'll see. This Jay keeps making a regular appearance. I'm pretty sure it's the same Jay. I'll just come in, steal some peanuts, and then it'll bugger off for a while. I could easily take a shot, but not today. They're off the list. I've certainly been sat here for quite a while, a lot longer than expected absolutely just seeing nothing but finally I see my first scroll after around two hours so I'm just slowly trying to get myself behind the rifle making sure I've got the camera on it don't want to spook it especially being the first one just maneuvering myself now so I've just had to speed this clip up just a little bit just watching it seeing what it's doing, hoping to make sure that I get a clean kill on this first one so I'll be gutted if I miss and finally got that first one down two hours I had to wait for that, I've been here a long time uh, my trail cam showed there were quite a lot of squirrels but for some reason when I've come today I've had to wait a really long time, it's very quiet a lot of pheasants as you can hear I'm hoping they're gonna start coming now not long after that first one the second one has now come in I'm hoping now this has just set the ball rolling it's been a very slow morning so it's looking a bit more promising now I seem to be a bit more upbeat going to see if this one is going to eat on the feeder or if it will sit at the side of the tree. This one decides to go to the side of the tree. A little branch in my way, just got to feed the pellet through. But I managed that. Hopefully on to the next one. Last time that I saw the farmer was 
about one week ago. Now he was telling me that they had an inspection from the RSPB where someone comes into the woodland and they inspect the bird boxes that are in there. Now what the RSPB was saying to the farmer was they always struggle to see any good nest due to predation. He came the previous week and said that this was the best year ever and the farmer thinks this is due to all the squirrels that have been shooting over the last two years. I'm making the farmer happy, that's another one. I'm hoping to carry this trend on and get a lot more this morning. Another one soon appears. Looks like quite a young one this one. It's wasting absolutely no time in getting straight up to that feeder. No sniffing around. Not being suspicious or anything, just straight on. Naive is what I would say. It's got too comfortable. So the young one's got to go as well. Four down. Just noticed that there is another squirrel coming in. Where are you? There you are, just hiding behind that rock. Now I'm wondering, is this one just gonna waste my time like the other one just did not so long ago? It's frozen for me. Now are you gonna stay there and mess me about, or are you going to go into the feeder? I'm currently in two minds as to. Do I set myself up to shoot it? Do I carry on filming? But I'm pretty confident that it'll go onto the feeder. So I'm just biding my time. And now there's another one. So now there's two squirrels. So that one's having a, a right good look at me. Could be a bit of a fight over dominance for the feeder. But looks like that one has just made its mind up gone to the feeder now all hell breaks loose I've got a jay coming in pheasants appearing, there's two squirrels I can't decide which one I want to go for but this one's settled nicely oh, I'm taking an aim at this one So I'll take that one, I notice the other one has just gone over to my left, so I'm quickly trying to line myself up on this, see if I can get a double. And take another very clean headshot. Another one has appeared just from the back. All this long grass now that it's starting to grow, leaves on the trees, struggling to see it a little bit. Now it just hung around here for the next around seven and a half, eight minutes. So I've had to speed this up quite a lot. It's now messing around in the tree. It starts to run down the tree, so I think, right, here we go, we're going to the feeder. But in the end, it's not interested. And after all that time, it's just a little bit too agitated by all the dead squirrels that it sees, and it runs off. I've just spotted a squirrel up in the trees, and I've just lost sight of it. I'm not 100% sure where it is. I've just seen some movement, and it's just running down. 
straight towards my feeder. Seems a little bit agitated, but it does seem quite committed. Ah, nicely sat onto the feeder. Easily lined up, that's another one. Just thrashing about on the floor now after its headshot. Well, we had a slow start, but we've got seven now, so it's not bad. Uh, first one took a long time to come in, really did. And then the second, third, and fourth were pretty quick. Um, fifth and sixth were a nice double and then the seventh uh, it actually came in came down the tree noticed the dead squirrels on the floor and then went away for about ten minutes but uh, the peanuts were too tempting that it's come onto the tree again and come down and I didn't waste any time getting it just in case it wanted to run off because its tail was wagging so it was a bit agitated so as soon as it stopped, it got the opportunity, bang. This young one just caught me by surprise. Kind of came out of nowhere, came rushing in down the tree. So now I'm just trying to line myself up onto this one slowly moving don't want to give my position away happily munching away there another clean headshot and it has a bit of a thrash about as well After shooting number 8, I didn't realise there was another squirrel in the area. I noticed it run up the tree and now it's on this branch and it's just barking away. So I'm just trying to swing myself to the side so I can aim myself onto this one. Lead punch that one straight to the head. Got 9 now. Another quick 2 again. Um, I've got one pellet left in my magazine because um, I fired nine shots and killed nine squirrels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another magazine in because yeah, if there's another chance of a double I don't just want to have one pellet in my magazine and have to start messing around trying to change. So I'm going to do that now. See if any more come. A fresh magazine installed. Just spotted another potential and hopefully another victim. Just jumping around the feeder now, starts messing around for about 45 seconds to a minute. So I'll just uh, sped this clip up a little bit. And it finally grabs a peanut and it settles itself down. Long enough for me to take aim and take number 10. I've managed to get 10 so far, so I thought, well, it's better to have a quick tidy up. There has been one or two which are. Uh, Got a little bit agitated when they could see the other dead squirrels. I did manage to shoot both of them eventually when they did come in. But because I've just fired a couple of shots, I just thought, well I've disturbed them a little bit, I'll go and collect them as quick as I can. And then get myself back into the hide. So I've just collected some of those. I've actually got 11 in total. The last one that I shot, because it was at a bit of a funny angle, I 
I got carried away and I forgot to press record. Uh, so yeah, I've got 11, but I'm gonna leave that where it is because it's right over there. Um, now if I go and get it, because uh, I'm still on top of the hill, I'll silhouette. So if there's any squirrels which are coming up from the bottom of the hill, which is generally where they come from, they'll, uh, you know, they're gonna spot me. So I don't want to give my position away just yet. I'm gonna wait it out a little bit longer. Uh, there's another one which I shot before, which I got on camera, um, which was a double, because that one's in the opposite direction over there. I don't want to go get that either for the same principle. Um, so let's get back into the hide, see if we can get another. Again, I didn't have to wait too long. This one is number 12. Doesn't seem too fussed at the moment. I'll just give it some time. I had to speed this clip up a little bit. Just seems to be taking its time. But it's got itself a nut now. It seems pretty settled. Safe enough for me to take a shot. Moving on to possible number 13 here. Doesn't seem to be wasting much time. It's just run straight up the tree, kind of caught me off guard. Seems to be going straight into the feeder. Taking a nut. And this one has decided just to sit on the feeder. I'll be shuffling myself now, trying to get myself into a comfortable position to take the shot. And that's number 13. Got a decent bag up to now. Slow start. Just noticed another one. It's behind the tree because that's usually where they come from. There's a big drop at the other side and they seem to run up there. This one seems to have got onto the feeder without me seeing it because they usually run from around the other side of the tree. This one seems to be going straight onto the feeder. Not quite sure what its intentions are just yet. It looks like it's pretty comfortable there so it looks as if it's going to be another feeder shot. That's the 14th, I think. I think it's 14, so I'm certainly uh, happy with this morning. It started off very slow, it was weird. I think I was sat here for about, it was either two or three hours and nothing. And then they just started coming. I think it was around, I think it was just after eight o'clock they started coming. Because I got here pretty early after looking at my trail camera and seeing the footage of the times that they were arriving. Um, why they didn't arrive then I don't know but click these remaining few see if I can find those last two which I couldn't find before uh, well I didn't go looking for them because I didn't want to disturb anything see if I can find them uh, tidy up and get off well that was the plan anyway but just as I was getting myself ready to get out of my hide I noticed a squirrel coming down from the top of the tree so now I'm trying to get myself back into position with my rifle. I'm hoping to get one last one before I go, which would make it 15. Just keeping my eye on this one, see what its plan of action is.
making its way down onto the feeder now. Not going to waste any time on this one. Set up nicely, take it, happy with that. That's 15, and this is where I definitely call it quits. Well, I managed to just get one at the end there. That makes 15 in total, five males, 10 females. It was a slow start, but once we got going, got the first one, then seemed to set the ball rolling. Uh, really good morning, farmer will be happy. There was a jay which kept appearing, but not allowed to shoot them um, by the farmer's request. So if they're not doing any harm, then yeah, I'll leave them. And it's always nice to watch because it kept coming and going all morning. Probably been to the feeder at least seven or eight times. So yeah, really good morning, 15 knockback.